So I just recently moved here from Houston. I fled. Y'all supposed to say yes. Y'all understand. You know, because I can still get pregnant. <laughs> yes, I still can. And so when I told my mom, I said, Mom, I'm moving to um, New Orleans. She's like, baby, they kill people there. I said, Mom, I survived, you know, L.A., the Crips and the Bloods. I lived there for 15 years. <coughs> I'm from Houston, Texas, the Steelers and the Killers, okay? I said, I think I can handle the Lil Wayne gang gang. <laughs> Have y'all noticed everybody look like Lil Wayne that make the news? <laughs> you notice? It's a local joke, local joke. Y'all, y'all, right, don't they? I said, even the women look like Lil Wayne. I call them bitches the Lil Wayne heads. <laughs> And another thing I was confused about, I never know which rapper to come out of them because, you know, there's so many, like, successful rappers here. They have, what, Juvenile, I came out on, back that ass up. You know, of course, they got Lil Wayne, you know. And then, you know, one night I went on Lil Wayne and I was in the wrong audience. And they looked at me like, bitch, why you, why you playing Lil Wayne? Apparently, the locals, which is most of the black people, they don't like Lil Wayne because he don't like the saints. Yeah, yeah, so they take their saints very serious. I didn't know. So I was like, well, maybe I should come up on uh, Mystical. But right now he's jail. he's in jail right now. I don't think I don't think that's a good choice. You know, he's in he's in Angola. That's what they say. Another local joke. <laughs> and so I, um, you know, I, I kind of like the bad boys. I'm not gonna lie, I like bad boys. Like I'm from the era where you know I grew up listening to Tupac and Nas. Okay. You know, now Tupac, I want to see with Tupac and I want to see with Nas. So Tupac is dead, but I got a chance with Nas, right? <laughs> there is still hope, right? There is still hope. I'm not going to lie, I would have let Bingo, uh, Biggie finger fuck me. That's all I would let. <laughs> I mean, he ain't that crazy guy. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I got to give it up. That was a great call back, wasn't it? Thank you, Maggie. But I like bad boys, so I'm not going to lie. And apparently, there's a new bad boy in town. We talking about drugs. We talking about baby mamas. We talking about going to jail. And I'm turned on, I ain't gonna lie. That damn Hunter Biden, oh my gosh. I'm so fucking turned on by his ass. Oh my gosh. So I had to go, you know, Google him. Like apparently, you know, he started dating his dead brother's wife at one time. They dated for three years. That, and he got two wives. He got one baby mama, and he was trying not to, you know, pay child support. That sounds like a nigga to me. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do it. It's like, white people, you can laugh. It's okay. <laughs> that was funny, shit. And I just came up on stage, you know. We got a, that's an improv moment. Because the people are so nice. They so nice. Like, this is the fourth nicest city. Did you know that? In the nation. Second to Vegas in weddings, right? So when I first moved here, this guy offered me a drink and he bought me a drink. You know, back in the day, I felt like I was back in the 90s. I was like, he bought me a drink. And you know, nowadays when me buy you a drink, right? You know, they follow you around the club and shit, so you can't even say yes to a drink. He bought me a drink and I saw him follow his ass. I was like, you know, we go together, right? You know, we go together. Because being single is very, very, very hard here. You're like, it's a lot of married men. And I'm at an age where I should have been married like 30 years, like most of my friends, but I had issues. I have commitment issues, you know? So I, I, I didn't get married, you know? But I almost did. I was dating this guy. I think I'm, ten, I'm saying too much. Y'all wanna hear the truth or y'all wanna hear the lie? The lie of the truth. I was, I was about to get married and I was, I was in a happily relationship till I accidentally stabbed him. Five times. I, wasn't trying to kill him, I just want to get his attention. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta do that, ladies. So I don't know. This is this has been difficult trying to find because they're married, you know, marry me. Marry me and we gotta make some notes. You know? Yeah. Ooh. yeah. See, they not happy. That's why they always try to date single young women. You know, I didn't know that uh the, the y'all generation, generation Z, because I see some Z's in here, right? So they got this thing what they call uh unapproachable makeup. You ever heard that? Like, yeah, anybody, anybody? You she have fucking Z. All this dumb ass shit y'all got. So apparently girls do unapproachable makeup for the creeps who will come to approach them. And the girl that started, this bitch went viral with 30 million fucking people on TikTok. I'm damn near about to pull a titty out, I'm just saying. I 
can't get no love. I'm like, I've been in the business way too long. I can't get, I can't get hot on TikTok. You gotta do something crazy. So yeah, hashtag unapproachable makeup. See, my makeup is approachable. You know, I want a man to come and say, hey, my name is so-and-so, so-and-so. But in, in, in this city, I don't know what it is about men that they are old and they still going by their nickname. That is horrible to me. It's such a turn off. The minute he says his nickname, I'm like, oh, you ain't getting no pussy. I just, I'm gonna keep it all to myself. It's horrible. It's horrible. Grown ass man tell me, hey, my name Boo Boo. Like, nigga, at this point, you should be Mr. Shitty. <laughs> I hate it. And then I'm, you know, I'm at an age, you know, where I can't. I'm like, I'm in my, you know, I'll be, y'all show me some love. I'll be 54 Saturday. <laughs> so, but I can date the youngsters, but I just can't stand that bro shit. I mean, like, dude, you see these big ass titties? Why are you calling me bro? <laughs> All these names y'all got, you know what I'm saying? Bro, and what else y'all got? You know, the new thing is unalive, you know, right, right? See, I'm just talking to Z right here. Just, everything I'm saying on this dumb ass shit, she's like, yeah, right, right. So apparently, they don't want to say kill, they want to say unalive me. He tried to, I'm um, saying the sentence, you know, the, you know, when I was married, I tried to unalive my boyfriend. <laughs> Y'all new words. I just, I just can't get it. And then y'all got the whole ghost thing. That's apparently, well, I know my 30s should you know that ghost, right? But how old are you? 38. You should know fucking ghosts. That's your era. Ghost, it's like when the guy stopped calling you, he just ghosts you. Now, now, it's a new word. That's a new word now. That's kind of old. That's kind of old. But apparently, when he try to come back in your life, he's now called a zombie. <laughs> All these dumb ass words. I just, I'm an ex, I'm a generation X. You know, I'm a, I mean, you know, you know, like, you know, y'all know, oh, Elon Musk has changed Twitter to X, right? That's the new name. So, you know, every fucking thing, you gotta be the real. <laughs> Take you to roll with me. She's smart, she's smart. You must have got a degree in, in Louisiana, that's the same, right? Oh, you know, oh, you know the fucking okay, thing. She's smart, she's smart. So, you say words like, you actually say burgundy, right? Not burgundy. Another local joke. I'm sorry, out of towners. Right now, I'm just having a moment with them. Because that's one of the things I learned when I moved here about the whole words. Like, if I would, when I would say, oh, I, I'm glad to be in New Orleans, it ain't no damn New Orleans. It's New Orleans. And I'm like, okay, they're serious about their words here. They, they really they really do. They're really upset. So the Pelicans just changed their name. It's now Crescent City. I know Chris True. Chris is like upset about that. So it's not concrete. Don't that sound corny as hell? Coming out, yo, show your love for Crescent City. You like what the fuck? I think Pelicans were better. What y'all think, Pelicans? Pelicans sound better, right? Even though I don't know why, I don't see no damn Pelicans here. Like I, I'm Pelicans there. I don't know. But I like the different names. So this is the nickname capital, right? Like it's like a uh, Crescent City. Uh, what else? Uh, um, the birthplace of jazz, uh, the big, the big easy, and also they call it the another name they got the uh, the uh, uh, Paris of the South. They call it that. That's another one I didn't do. So I, I came up with my own. Can I? You know, I y'all hear my own? I came up the holy city of the South because you have a fucking bunch of uh, holes in the roads and shit. Damn holes and shit. And then you know California is a red state, right? You know, red like what I'm wearing. And blue, you know, these Democrats. Uh, any Democrats in the building? Y'all don't wanna share that moment? That's too personal. And so you never talk politics at a bar, right? So I was like, so the whole thing with them, I don't like calling me legals because that's what they call Katrina people when they went to Texas, they was calling me legals. I'm like, they're not fucking illegals. They Americans have just been, you know, Katrina just tried to take their ass out and we call them illegals? That was so fucked up, I'm just saying, you know? I got, thank you, mama, for agreeing with me. That was horrible, you know, so I'm like, but now, so the whole thing that they're doing now, 
they're, the Texas, right, is taking the illegals, I hate to say it, and they're taking them to blue states, right? You know, just dropping them off on planes and shit. They dropped them off in, in Colorado. They dropped them in Martha's Vineyard. Dropped them off in LA. I think they need to drop them off in New Orleans. <laughs> it's a lot of work here. There's a lot of homes need to be filled. I'm just, I'm just saying we can kill two birds at one stone, okay? My name is Corey Mosley, if y'all thought I was funny. If you didn't think I was funny, my name is Sherry Shepard. Good night. <laughs>